Hello everyone, please press subscribe, press follow, press the bell so you don't miss any new clips. The Divine Nine Dragon Cauldron. Author by Heavenly Overlord. Translator by NYOI Bo Studio. Audio novels by novelist. The Divine Nine Dragon Cauldron. Chapter 51. Tempest. Su Yu shouted, a medium level cultivation technique at stage 3 upper class. Russell. As Su Yu raised his leg, ice and snow started to form and a cold wind started to surround the whole arena. A second ago, the arena was as warm and calm as spring fields about to bloom. However, a second later, the arena became an icy cold wasteland filled with snow. An extremely cold snowstorm surrounded Su Yu's leg. Su Yu's raised leg had chaotic swirls of icy wind continuously blasting out and around it. His leg looked like an ice dragon, roaring and blowing snow across the winter world. As the power from Su Yu's leg roared, it collided explosively with the millions of horses that were galloping and carrying soldiers. Strike. Slap. Rub. Zan Li's and Su Yu's attacks collided. Zan Li's savage eyes were full of astonishment. Rub. 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 Zan Li's mountain-like leg was covered by thick ice and frost. Zan Li felt the cold sensation of the ice and frost pierce his flesh, sinking down into his bones as it spread throughout his whole body, including his arteries and veins. Thump. Zan Li's legs were frozen stiff, which caused him to lose his agility. As he retreated, he lost his balance and fell on his butt. Su Yu stood in his original position calmly and innocently, his hair fluttered around his head and across his purple shirt, dancing in the wind. He had a willful posture, full of elegance and intellectual brilliance, it portrayed an extremely strong and warlike shadow that glimmered in the hearts of the audience. The match's outcome was clear. Zan Li was astonished, he could feel the pressure grow immensely. It was clear that Su Yu had the skills necessary in order to achieve victory. Su Yu shot a glance at him indifferently, the second prince is a failure. The genius he recommended is also a failure. What a disappointment. Zan Li's heart was filled with humiliation. He could not, however, disagree with Su Yu, as he was indeed incomparable to Su Yu. After his speech, Su Yu retired from the arena stoically, I will retire as well. These duels are meaningless. Su Yu did not feel any sense of achievement from beating Zan Li. Zan Li's abilities were incomparable to the third prince's bodyguard, Lin Xiao. At the grandstand, the audience gasped. Dong Lin was a frightening martial artist who was at level 6, and it was expected that he would be completely victorious against Zhang Ling. Su Yu, however, who was at level 5 lower tier, had actually managed to defeat Zan Li, who was at level 5 peak, with one move. Comparing only the levels of their skills, Zan Li was actually stronger than Zhang Ling. After witnessing this event for myself today, it seems like the rumors about the Duke of Xianyu's son-in-law being a caliber of a demon student are real. Humph. Just that rumor. Do you know about the Martial Arts Training Institute? It is said that, as the Silver King, he suppressed two generations of Gold Kings at the same time. As for the demon students in the training institute, he defeated them with one move. It is also rumored that he had managed to comprehend the frightening Holy Decree. In no time, rumors about Su Yu spread among the audience. Regarding the incident that occurred at Xianyu Prefecture, the citizens of the Empire were more concerned about the Duke of Xianyu himself, as he was the strongest Duke of the current generation. As for the Duke of Xianyu's son-in-law, not many people had inquired about him. As a result, there were few rumors regarding the Duke of Xianyu's son-in-law. As such, Su Yu's display of his abilities had awed the audience. Without question, he was the strongest representative of the royal family after Du Yuntian and Dong Lin. The first prince's pupils shrunk to needle points. At the Duke of Xianyu's palace, the first prince had confronted Su Yu head-on. Su Yu had resisted with all his might, but he almost died at the hands of the first prince. One could say that Su Yu was defeated after one attack from the first prince. However, in just a short time, Su Yu had actually managed to easily defeat someone of the same caliber as the first prince. His potential was frightening. 
A threat of indescribable fear filled the first prince's brain. At that moment, the first prince regretted that he had laid his hands on the Duke of Xi and Yu, what a huge mistake. The first prince withdrew his remorse. As he glared at Su Yu, his head was full of murderous intent, Su Yu could not be allowed to live. After the holy meat, he would convict Su Yu for his rebellion against the state, as he had killed the second prince, and would cause the whole empire to go after Su Yu. The first prince could not allow him to continue living for another second. The third prince secretly admired Su Yu, as he was impressive. When confronted by the second prince's lackey, even though he was full of hatred, Su Yu had restrained himself and did not display his true abilities. Du Yuntian gazed at Su Yu coldly as he commented. Zhan Li's leg technique is smooth, he managed to become one with his leg technique. The sound of his footsteps intimidated his opponent's spirit, and that intimidation was used cleverly. He had plenty of experience in combat and, in all, he deserved to be praised. Not bad. As for Su Yu, his cultivation base is quite weak and his foundation in martial arts is poor. His defeat of Zhan Li is owed to the power of his cultivation technique, as well as the power and complexity of Tempest. His win against Zhan Li was also largely due to his luck, diligence, strong willpower and his ability to guard against arrogance. One of the spectators remained calm and collected. As Du Yuntian was the strongest martial artist among the representatives of the royal family, he had the right to comment. However, his comment towards Su Yu was biased. It was normal for a martial artist to fight against another martial artist that was a tier higher than him. It was rare, however, for a martial artist to fight against another martial artist that was two tiers higher than him. As such, Du Yuntian could not stand Su Yu. When the audience thought about Du Yuntian and Su Yu's positions, they felt relieved. Su Yu shrugged his shoulders and remained composed. Du Yuntian was extremely arrogant, but Su Yu was too lazy to argue with him. Moreover, Du Yuntian's comment was not completely illogical. Su Yu's abilities had increased greatly and, as a result, his foundation was unsteady, he needed to train more. As for Su Yu's victory being attributed to luck, Su Yu declined to comment. Su Yu had only displayed part of his powers. If he unleashed his full powers, he could kill Zhang Li in an instant. Dong Lin looked at Su Yu indifferently and said sternly, You barely passed. Su Yu laughed vacantly. He refused to listen to Dong Lin. He had no intention of being his friend. Humph. All along, it was Dong Lin who disregarded the others. However, when he was disregarded by Su Yu, he hummed coldly and stopped looking at Su Yu. You better stay away from me during the holy meat. Though Su Yu heard Dong Lin's threat, he was too lazy to deal with him. The third prince could not do anything. Dong Lin treated people according to the level of their skills. Dong Lin always altered the levels of exerted skill to match those of his opponent, whether that meant toning down his power against weaker foes, or amping himself up for stronger opponents. However, he was very obstinate, it would be difficult to change that personality of his. As time progressed, duels carried on in the arena. The other 12 representatives had friendly duels and learned from one another. Dong Lin and Su Yu's matches, however, were at the very start of the Dragon's meeting. The matches after that were dull and boring in comparison. A gleam of light pierced through the azure sky. The sunrise's beauty was unmatched. The sunlight dispersed the darkness, spreading its warmth across the world into the hearts of the people, causing their blood to boil with excitement. It was time for the holy meat. Creek. After one year, the holy arena, which had been covered with dust, was formally opened. The excited audience waiting outside entered the arena one after another. The grandstand, which could hold 10,000 people, was fully filled within an hour. Outside the arena, unsatisfied people were held up, they hoped that there would be a vacant, precious seat available for them. Russell. A huge number of imperial guards from the imperial capital came and dispersed the crowd, opening up a path that led to the arena. Groups and groups of people shuttled back and forth on the path. A huge portion of the group were young men and women full of pride alongside their frightening abilities. 
They were the students from the Martial Arts Training Institute of the 13 Prefectures. Every martial arts training institute from the 13 prefectures had sent 10 of their strongest students to participate in the holy meet and compete for the holy crown. In Fengalan Empire, how vast was its district? How vast was its territory? How many proud demon students were there? Finally, all the demon students were gathered, starting the empire's pinnacle battle. The 13 martial arts training institute's chosen students entered the arena one after another. At the battle preparation area, there were seats prepared for them, next to the royal family's seats. Coincidentally, Xianyu Prefecture's Martial Arts Training Institute was the closest to the royal family's seats. After Chia Jingyu entered the arena, her beautiful eyes started to look around anxiously for a familiar silhouette. In a split second, she saw a young man in a purple shirt. His purple shirt flashed across her sight, gliding through the air under a cloud of floating black hair. He was handsome, like an attractive celestial being. He was refined, elegant, and full of spirit. Her restless heart became peaceful in an instant. If the purple-shirted young man was safe and sound, her heart was satisfied. He successfully earned the trust of the third prince. Seeing that Su Yu was standing by the third prince's side peacefully, Chia Jing Yu's heart was peaceful as well. As though he felt someone looking at him, Su Yu raised his eyes and looked towards Chia Jing Yu. He felt indebted but conflicted. Su Yu shifted one foot forward and turned into the shadow of clouds as he floated to Chia Jing Yu's side, as elegant as duckweed on the river surface. He wanted to say something, but he did not know what. Chia Jingyu blushed lightly and she hung her head low. Her face then turned completely red and she did not know what to say either. After all, there was an embarrassing experience and an unfulfilled promise between both of them. A boy and a girl, one handsome and refined, the other an incomparable beauty. When both of them stood side by side, they seemed like figures pulled from a painting. Who is that lady from Xianyu Prefecture? She is as beautiful as a celestial beauty. If you look at her once, you would find it hard to forget her. Also, who is that guy in the purple shirt? He has an extraordinary presence, he seems almost non-human. I wish to know him. The hearts of the male demon students in the Martial Arts Training Institute of Xianyu Prefecture were overcome by jealousy. Chia Jingyu was exceptionally elegant and brilliant. She was also as beautiful as a goddess. She actually sacrificed her own innocence, however, without hesitation in order to save Su Yu. Moreover, they heard that housemaster Chia intended to marry his daughter off to Su Yu, making Su Yu his son-in-law. Those rumors had greatly increased the hatred that the male demon students had for Su Yu. Su Yu, you are a representative from the royal family. What are you doing here at Xianyu Prefecture's Martial Arts Training Institute? Why don't you excuse yourself? Fang Qingzhu had a gloomy expression. Fang Qingzhu's father was an inspector at Xianyu Prefecture's Martial Arts Training Institute and, naturally, he would be at the holy meet. Although Fang Qingzhu did not have the rights to participate in the holy meet, he was brought to the holy meet by his father to watch the battles. His father hoped that watching the battles would be beneficial for his training. A few days ago, the Fang family's father and son had joined up with Chia Lingxuan and his group of people. At the moment, Fang Qingzhu heard the rumor that Chia Lingxuan wanted to marry his daughter, Chia Jingyu, to Su Yu. To Fang Qingzhu, that rumor was incredibly unexpected. As he pressed for more information, he found out that Chia Jingyu, who refused to be corrupted by evil influences, had actually shared a bed with Su Yu in order to protect him. Fang Qingzhu could not believe the news. The woman he wanted to marry had actually slept with another man. However, the current Su Yu was much different than his former self. The current Su Yu's ability was way higher than Fang Qingzhu's, and Su Yu was also a holy seal holder. Even though Fang Qingzhu was furious, he did not dare to be as arrogant as he once was. For now, he berated Su Yu softly. In reality, Fang Qingzhu was just putting on a strong facade, he was actually afraid on the inside. Moreover, his heart also felt small and humbled. It was said that the level 4 peak second prince was killed by Su Yu ruthlessly. 
From the empirical perspective, who would dare be as gutsy as Su Yu? Fang Qingzhu was a bit afraid that he would arouse Su Yu's murderous intentions and get himself killed. Hearing Fang Qingzhu's words, Su Yu looked towards his direction. A flash of coldness passed through Su Yu's deep eyes, and he said coldly, Why? You have something you'd wish to say. Having felt Su Yu's murderous intent, Fang Qingzhu felt a chill down his spine. He drew back his neck and could not muster the courage to offer a retort. Since his father was not with him, he did not dare be reckless. Fang Qingzhu's nonverbal yield to Su Yu had caused a few of the demon students to stir. You are a coward who bullies the weak and fears the strong. You are known for being arrogant in the martial arts training institute. You would even berate us, the demon students. In front of Su Yu, however, you are a dog, all bark, no bite. Chia Jingyu despised Fang Qingzhu to a great degree, she detested people like him. Chia Lingxuan understood the situation quickly, dissatisfaction still remained in his eyes as before and he reminded Su Yu of the current tension, Su Yu, you were once a student of Xianyu Prefecture's Martial Arts Training Institute. It is inadvisable for you to stay here for a long time as it might arouse suspicions of collaboration. Su Yu looked back at the royal family. After he went to the Martial Arts Training Institute, many members of the royal family had been secretly watching him. They were taking precautions against Su Yu, as they did not trust him. As he nodded his head, Su Yu looked at Chia Jingyu. After a moment of hesitation, he said, Jingyu, I will give you an explanation. Chia Jingyu's heart started to beat violently, her face boiling hot red. With a dainty voice like the wings of a hummingbird, she said, Yes. Russell. Su Yu turned his body and leaped back to the royal family. Hearing Chia Jingyu's name coming out from Su Yu's mouth, Zheng Yilin, who was not too far away, frowned unhappily. Xiao Li frowned coldly, humph. How arrogant. Even though he left the training institute, he's still concerned about senior Chia and he actually called her, Jingyu. Does he really consider himself housemaster Chia's son-in-law? Jingyu was actually what Chia Jingyu wanted Su Yu to address her as. As Su Yu was no longer a student of the training institute, he was also no longer her junior brother. Hence, it was no longer appropriate for him to call her senior. Moreover, both of them were very close to one another, and it was not strange for them to call each other by their individual names. He does not know his position. Even though he is going to be killed soon, he is still such a nuisance. Zheng Yilin's eyes turned gloomy and the audience knew Su Yu's situation. Even though Su Yu entered the imperial capital alive, there was a chance he would not be able to leave in one piece. When Zheng Yilin turned and looked at Chia Jingyu, a thread of admiration flashed through the deepest part of his eyes. The Divine Nine Dragon Cauldron. Chapter 52. After a moment's thought, Zheng Yilin walked over to Chia Jingyu with a pleasant, warm smile. Jingyu, have you thought about what we discussed earlier? Chia Jingyu raised her eyes, her blush faded. She regarded Zheng Yilin coolly, unfazed by the fame and power he possessed. Thank you, Senior Zheng, for your kindness, but, please call me Junior Sister or Miss Chia. I don't want anyone to think we're closer than we truly are. One month ago, Zheng Yilin had hinted to Chia Jingyu that he could demonstrate his holy decree for her to watch and learn. His condition regarding the demonstration, however, was that they deepen their bond together. The real meaning behind his words was less innocent. Chia Jingyu had to agree to become his girlfriend or fiancé before he would demonstrate his holy decree to her. In theory, the offer wasn't unfair. The holy decree was magnificent. Among 10,000 geniuses, only one or two unique geniuses would ever comprehend the holy decree. In the vast and boundless Fengalan Empire, talented people other than the monarch would appear, from time to time, but how many holy decree comprehenders would appear? The holy decree was precious, even very close blood relatives may not pass it on to one another. Since Zheng Yilin's sacrifice was huge, he expected some form of retribution, as was normal in such transactions. It was a pity, however, that Chia Jingyu had initially rejected him, however tactfully. 
Now she rejected him again, firmly. Both his offer and his attempt to use Jing Yu rather than her full name. She had rejected it all, coldly and firmly. Chia Jing Yu had squashed any potential for any sort of relationship. Chia Jing Yu breathed out, slowly, were all men the same. In her heart, she felt irritated. Beauty was, indeed, a blessing as much as a curse. She could suffer no friendships with men without fielding unwanted advances and inordinate ambitions. An example was Zheng Yilin. He had always seemed true and innocent in his friendship. Truly, he had hidden his intentions well within his mind and soul, hidden for two long years from Chia Jingyu. He had initially used his identity as a senior to become friends with Chia Jingyu. It wasn't apparent to her that he had any ulterior motives. Chia Jingyu thought that she finally had a male friend that she could open her heart to. However, when he managed to comprehend the holy decree a few months ago, he became high-spirited and daring. He felt he had a chance to become the holy king, he got cocky and condescending. Moreover, he also felt that Housemaster Chia regarded him with respect. He became someone who no longer preserved his clean and honest friendship with Chia Jingyu carefully. Instead, overconfident and entitled, he revealed his true desires. It started as subtle hints. Then, his behavior became increasingly erratic until, finally, the whole affair peaked with his presumptuous request proposed to Chia Jingyu a mere month ago. After that, they had drifted farther apart each day. Zheng Yilin was an igniter. As he gained more confidence, he revealed the dark side that was hidden within him, including the greedy eyes he had cast on Chia Jingyu. As she walked away gracefully, Chia Jingyu sighed in her heart. There wasn't a single decent man in the world. As she lamented, a purple-shirted silhouette appeared in her mind. Like Zheng Yilin, Su Yu had managed to comprehend the holy decree. However, Su Yu had not asked for anything in return when he passed his holy decree on to Chia Jingyu. Not only that, he passed on all his holy decree to her, he didn't leave anything behind. From the start, Su Yu had looked at Chia Jingyu with crystal clear eyes, free of dirty thoughts. His eyes only contained gratitude, uncorrupted by presumptuous thoughts. All because of a bow she had bestowed upon him, all that innocent gratitude sprung from that single moment. As she thought of that, Chia Jingyu could no longer hold her laughter in, she laughed for a bit. Her laughing face was like a flower, free and natural, holy and pure, and extremely beautiful. Actually, there was a decent man. Wasn't he right by her side? Her heart started to feel at ease and she looked towards the silhouette of Su Yu. She suddenly realized how agreeable she felt towards the notion of marrying Su Yu. When Su Yu was by her side, she would feel enriched and at ease. Zheng Yilin glared at Su Yu coldly. Humph! What is so great about someone who has just managed to comprehend the holy decree? Comparing our levels of the holy decree, he would not last beyond one attack of mine. Rumble, rumble. There was a commotion at the arena's entrance. As the audience stretched their heads to look at the entrance, 13 middle-aged men with frightening abilities entered the arena successively. Many demon students made noises of admiration as they recognized the inspector, who had jurisdiction over their own training institute. Su Yu noticed Fang Yun, who was among these men. It was Fang Yun who had bent the rules and caused Su Yu to be expelled. Hatred still boiled in Su Yu's heart for Fang Yun. As for the other twelve men, without question, they were also inspectors from the sanctuary. The appearance of the thirteen men from the sanctuary had caused the audience to be extremely excited. It was said that every person from the sanctuary was a legendary mythological figure, and it was rare to see even one of them, as they would disappear in the next instant. However, thirteen of them had appeared in the flesh. Moreover, after the thirteen mythological figures entered the arena, all of them stood at both sides of the entrance in respect of someone yet to enter. They bowed their noble heads in respect and dared not breathe too heavily. It seemed like they were welcoming someone supreme and frightening. The arena, full of ten thousand people, gradually became silent. The strange actions of the thirteen mythological figures filled the audience with fear. Thud. Amidst the strange silence, the sound of light footsteps could be heard. It was as if feet stepped across the hearts of all in the arena. 
The sound of the footsteps was sometimes loud, sometimes soft. It was hard for the audience to find out how far away the Supreme Person was from the arena. Su Yu's heart shook. What kind of powerful martial artist was able to create that kind of illusion? Thud. The loud and soft sound of the footsteps finally stopped. At the entrance of the arena, there was an old man wearing clothing composed of flowers. The old man was 80 years old. He had white hair and grey sunken cheeks as if he was near death. Although his eyes were old, they were so bright they astonished the audience. Su Yu merely looked at him for a moment and, as a result, he felt a stab of pain in his eyes which caused him to look elsewhere immediately. As for the audience, they experienced the same thing as Su Yu. They were unable to look at the old man directly. Su Yu's heart shook. He was shocked. Could it be that this man was the Holy King? Welcome, Minister. The thirteen respected inspectors knelt down on the floor onto one knee and welcomed the minister in unison respectfully. Their voices were so resonant that it pierced the heavens. Their voices were so respectful that it went straight to the heavens, extremely far away. That old man was one of the nine great ministers of the sanctuary. The Holy King was training wholeheartedly and had no time to manage worldly affairs. As such, all the worldly affairs were managed by the nine ministers. A sentence from every minister had the ability to change the imperial court's cabinet. When they stomped their foot, Fengalan Empire would tremble in fear three times over. Even if the monarch was incapacitated with a serious illness, bedridden and in a coma, if he somehow knew that the minister was coming, he would still need to be there to welcome him on one knee. Russell, Russell, Russell. After hearing what was said, many martial artists quivered in fear. They also knelt down and welcomed the minister. Within Fengalan Empire, in the martial artists' hearts, the sanctuary was the holy land of the god of the martial artists. The nine ministers, whose positions were greatly respected, carried out an existence so incredible that even the high martial arts masters bowed to them. Amidst the ten thousand people who were kneeling to welcome him, the minister entered the arena. He was the leader of the nine great ministers, the fiery minister. The fiery minister's face was expressionless. He walked towards the distinguished guest's platform and sat down on the seat of honor. The thirteen inspectors were in awe of the minister. All of them straightened their clothes and sat up properly, they dared not act recklessly. The fiery minister lightly opened his mouth, we can begin now. His voice was resonant and clear as a bell, the audience was left in awe. Su Yu's body shivered vigorously, and his soul quivered. Level 8. Su Yu's pupils shrunk to needle points. Su Yu had felt the presence of a level 8 before. During the battle at the Duke of Xianyu's palace, when the first prince broke his amulet, a flaming shadow of a level 8 appeared and its presence was comparable to that of the minister. The abilities of the fiery minister were definitely at the frightening level 8. He was a frightening martial artist, only two steps away from being comparable to the Holy King. Su Yu's heart was shaking, it would not calm, even as time passed. The power of a level 8 left even him unsettled. Russell. The referee leaped into the arena. The holy meet will officially begin now. All the participants will receive a holy order, he declared. With the 16 dragons from the royal family and the 130 demon students from the martial arts training institutes of the 13 prefectures, there were a total of 146 people. They would go up the stage one by one and take a holy order randomly. Su Yu got a holy order that was made with an uncommon material and the number 9 carved on it. After the participants came down from the stage, the referee took out a sealed black box. He put his hands inside the black box and took out ten randomly chosen balls, each ball had numbers on it. The people who have these numbers will belong to the first group. Number 1, 19, 23. The people who have these numbers will belong to the second group. Number 4, 6, 13. After half an hour, the 146 participants in the arena were split into 15 groups. For the first 14 groups, every group had 10 people. Only the last group had 6 people. Moreover, Su Yu was assigned to the last group, he only had 5 opponents. 
After the assignment was complete, the referee loudly stated the procedure that would follow, the first round will be an elimination round. The ultimate victor of every group will have the right to participate in the competition meant to decide who are the 10 strongest martial artists. After his speech, the audience burst into an uproar. All their eyes landed on the last group. There were only six people. The chances of any of them achieving first place in their group were higher than the other 14 groups' chances. Many demon students were envious of the group that Su Yu was in. The first prince smeared. His luck is quite good. He's in the group with the best odds of coming out on top. He may actually make it to the final competition between the top 10. The third prince could not help but laugh. Su Yu was very lucky. If Su Yu were in other groups with either Dong Lin or Du Yuntian, he would be surely eliminated. With his current placement, however, he had a chance at the top 10. Zheng Yilin paid close attention to Su Yu and frowned. You were lucky. You had better not come across me. Apart from the fact that his group was the smallest, there was another reason why Su Yu was so lucky. Among the five group members, the martial artist with the strongest cultivation base was at level 5 upper tier, the weakest, a level 4 peak. With Su Yu's abilities, he had managed to kill the level 5 upper tier at Xianyu Prefecture, there was nothing to worry about. He would surely succeed in attaining first place within his group. The elimination round had officially begun. At the distinguished guests' platform, the fiery minister and the 13 inspectors' expressions were dull and undisturbed. Even though the participants at the arena were the most outstanding 10 great demon students from every prefecture of the empire, their fights did not manage to interest the minister and the 13 inspectors. The elimination round between the 15 groups began at the same time. In accordance with the rules, each group member had to fight every other group member at least once. As such, the elimination round lasted an inordinate amount of time. One whole day passed. The elimination round for the 15th group has ended. The victor is participant number 9, Su Yu. The referee declared abruptly. The first king of the group had emerged. The audience beneath the stage could not help but raise an uproar. What a lucky kid. The elimination rounds in the other groups are only half complete, and yet he successfully earned the right to participate in the next competition. He was even luckier than you think. His group members' abilities were common and not impressive. Apart from the level 5 upper tier, the rest of them were too weak. Even I would have been able to fight into the top 15. You should not underestimate him. Did you see his fight with the level 5 upper tier group member? He defeated him with one attack. That means he has the ability to fight someone of a higher tier than level 5 upper tier. The first prince smeared. Even though he was lucky enough to get into the top 15, he is still a bottom feeder, and will only be disgraced in the end. The third prince laughed but did not comment. Instead, he focused his attention on Dong Lin. With the emergence of the first king of their group, it was difficult for the distinguished guests to not look at him. The first king of the group was someone of level 5 lower tier, all of them shook their heads secretly. The fiery minister looked somewhere else indifferently. Only Fang Yun was stunned. On that day at the Martial Arts Training Institute, he had personally expelled Su Yu from of the Training Institute. He did not expect Su Yu's luck to be so amazing that he would manage to fight his way into the top 15. Su Yu returned to the battle preparation area and observed the remaining 14 groups' duels. In particular, Du Yuntian, Zheng Yilin, and Dong Lin's performances were the most eye-catching. The three of them were strong martial artists who were at level 6. In particular, Du Yuntian was a strong martial artist who was at level 6 upper tier. Lin Xiao secretly slipped the third prince a scrap of paper without any preamble. When the third prince looked at the paper, his whole body trembled in fear, his face paled. His eyes were filled with anxiety. As he looked at Dong Lin, still in the arena, his expression started to change. Su Yu noticed the third prince's strange expression from the corner of his eye and was surprised. It was the first time he saw the third prince, who was usually so calm and composed, lose his composure. Third prince, what's happened? Su Yu walked to the third prince. 
As Su Yu approached the third prince, he realized the third prince's hands were shaking. The third prince's heart must have been extremely troubled. The third prince had a poor expression as he handed the scrap of paper over to Su Yu, look at this. This is the information regarding Du Yuntian that I had Lin Seo investigate. The Divine Nine Dragon Cauldron. Chapter 53. The fact that a frighteningly strong martial artist such as Du Yuntian worked for the first prince was enough to spur the third prince into finding someone to investigate the situation. Although the third prince was hiding his capabilities and biding his time, it did not mean his hands were entirely tied. Half a day's effort was more than enough time for him to find out information regarding Du Yuntian. Su Yu took the paper and looked it over carefully. As he read, Su Yu's expression turned serious, his lips a thin line. Du Yuntian is actually the younger biological brother of the previous Holy Meat's king. Su Yu was shocked. At the previous Holy Meat, the participant who attained the crown was named Du Lin. He was the previous Holy Meat's strongest demon student and he had successfully entered the sanctuary following his win. Du Yuntian was actually Du Lin's biological younger brother. The relation between the two wouldn't be too concerning if that was the end of the matter. Du Lin had no power over deciding the result of the holy competition. Their relation, however, implied that Du Yuntian was even more powerful than his brother, who had already won the crown in years past. It was said that Du Yuntian had fought the strongest demon students from nine of the martial arts training institutes. Among the nine training institutes, all of the strongest demon students were defeated by the third move. His consistent victories over the other demon students in under three moves earned Du Yuntian the nickname, Du Yuntian of the three mythical moves. No one student had yet managed to stay in the fight long enough to see Du Yuntian's fourth move. His achievements were unprecedented. Du Yuntian was also much stronger than his brother, Du Lin. It was said that Du Yuntian was the strongest martial artist of his generation. He was unsurpassed and could beat any genius. Three mythological moves. Su Yu's chest tightened. The geniuses in the empire had gathered in immeasurable numbers. If a king of his generation was going to appear, it would most likely be in that very arena. Su Yu was overwhelmed, his heart wrapped in darkness. No matter how the third prince tried to remain composed, his clear pupils betrayed the conflict within his heart. He had placed all his hope and his people's hope on Dong Lin. If Dong Lin won, the third prince would obtain the empire. If Dong Lin lost, the third prince would be killed. The information that he obtained, however, had sent him into a valley of despair. Do you know why Du Yuntian is so strong? The third prince was unaware of the way his own voice trembled with fear. His eyes refused to stay focused. Instead, they looked towards the fiery minister, who was above millions of people. Why? Su Yu asked seriously. The third prince laughed darkly and looked at the fiery minister. With indescribable dissatisfaction, he said, Because, Du Yuntian is the fiery minister's disciple. In every holy meet, the top ten martial artists would become sanctuary disciples. At the sanctuary, the nine ministers would choose some of the ten martial artists who caught their attention to become their disciples. From then on, the martial artists who had been chosen would be under the supervision of their minister, respectively. At the previous holy meet, Du Lin had used his position as the number one to gain the favor of the fiery minister, and he had become the fiery minister's disciple. After some time, the fiery minister discovered Du Lin had a biological younger brother, Du Yuntian, who was even more gifted than Du Lin. The fiery minister personally rushed to the Du family home in order to measure Du Yuntian's abilities. He was amazed by Du Yuntian's abilities, so he stayed with the Du family for several months in order to advise Du Yuntian in his training. As a result of the fiery minister's mentoring, Du Yuntian's abilities increased greatly. Unless there was an order from the Holy King, the top ten martial artists would need to go through the Holy Assessment before they could enter the sanctuary. Du Yuntian, however, may have already become the fiery minister's disciple. The Holy Meat was just a formality for Du Yuntian and the fiery minister. No one could compete with Du Yuntian for the first position. It could be argued that the final result of the holy meat had long ago already been decided, in Du Yuntian's favor, no less. 
He, is he actually the fiery minister's disciple? Has he really been under the supervision of the fiery minister? Su Yu breathed heavily, his heart ached under the intense pressure of the notion. No wonder the third prince had lost his composure and seemed hopeless. It was impossible for the third prince to win his bet. As though he realized what was going on between the third prince and Su Yu, the first prince, just a short distance away, smeared, as if he had already won. Su Yu and the third prince were both left in shock. With his natural skill alone, there was no doubt that Du Yuntian was the current holy meats king, but knowing he had the guidance of the fiery minister as well. Alternatively, what if a threat showed up at the competition? Would the fiery minister step in and ensure Du Yuntian's success? The bet had seemed fair, initially, but both Su Yu and the third prince now understand it had been anything but fair from the start. When Su Yu decided to participate in the holy meet, it had already been guaranteed that he would fail. Su Yu, however, did not have a choice. Other than attaining the holy crown, he had no way out of his current predicament. Su Yu clenched his fists and centered himself. If he wanted to rescue the Duke of Xianyu and kill the first prince, there was only one path he could take. Su Yu had to attain the crown. As he refocused on his goal, Su Yu continued to analyze the scrap of paper. On it, he discovered more information regarding the demon students from the 13 prefectures. In particular, Xian Yu Prefecture's Zheng Yilin was specifically interesting. He was the only demon student who had managed to comprehend the Holy Decree. Even Du Yuntian was unable to comprehend the Holy Decree. Among the demon students from the 13 prefectures, Zheng Yilin's abilities were the hardest to estimate. Apart from Zheng Yilin, there was Chong Nanfei, also known as the Demon King. Chong Nanfei was at level 6 lower tier and he was the number one demon student from the Martial Arts Training Institute in the Joshuan Prefecture. His level of comprehension was extremely high and his cultivation techniques were extremely powerful. Chong Nanfei's abilities were frightening. After all, he had managed to suppress all the proud and strong martial artists in the Joshuan Prefecture. It was rumored that Chong Nanfei had fought with many demon students from many different prefectures and he had never lost. Even Zheng Yilin, before he had comprehended the Holy Decree, had been defeated by Chong Nanfei. Apart from Du Yuntian, who Chong Nanfei had not fought before, Chong Nanfei was the obvious demon king. The royal family had their two dragons, Du Yuntian and Dong Lin. The martial arts training institutes had their two best demon students, Zheng Yilin and Chong Nanfei. The four altogether stood as the stars of the holy meat, no one could possibly compete with their raw power and skill. This was a serious matter. Su Yu made the most of his time and started to train. Under the effects of space-time manipulation, one day's effort was equivalent to 30 days' effort, which was a month's time and would be sufficient for him to further comprehend some of his cultivation techniques. In particular, he was a step away from making a breakthrough to stage 3 top class with Tempest. While Su Yu made the best of his training, the duels carried on in the arena. Du Yuntian, Zheng Yilin, and Dong Lin were the most interesting and strongest martial artists within the arena. In particular, a frightening level 6 lower tier demon student was nothing special when compared to Du Yuntian, as he was defeated after only three moves by Du Yuntian. The legend behind Du Yuntian of the three mythological moves was not only a legend, it was actually true. After one day, all the duels had ended and the 15 strongest martial artists had emerged. At that moment, Su Yu opened his eyes, which were filled with disappointment. Even after comprehending Tempest for what was equivalent to one whole month's time, Su Yu felt he was lacking something. As a result, he was unable to make a breakthrough to the top class, and he could not display the full potential of Tempest. As Su Yu opened his eyes, the referee declared the last segment of the competition. The Ten Great Holy Competition will begin now. The referee declared expressionlessly. The Ten Great Competition was held to select 10 people out of the 15 survivors from the elimination rounds. In other words, 5 people would be eliminated by the end of this segment. Royal family and martial arts institutes alike, they were all extremely nervous. 
The top 10 of the holy competition would earn the rights to enter the sanctuary and become sanctuary disciples. As such, the upcoming battles were very crucial. The referee was expressionless as he took out two numbers from the sealed black box. The first match, number 10, Du Yuntian, versus number 18, Dong Lin. Du Yuntian of the three mythological moves. One of the four great and proud martial artists, Dong Lin. Beneath the stage, the audience burst into an uproar. No one had expected both of them to be matched against one another during the ten great competition. The third prince's pupils shrunk. His heart started to beat violently and he felt his blood rush through his veins. He, he was matched against Du Yuntian so quickly. The third prince concealed his heart's anxiety and uneasiness. He was unable, however, to conceal the hope in his eyes. What if, what if Dong Lin wins? The first prince who was beside him laughed derisively, third brother, seems like the odds are not in your favor. The third prince presented a composed facade, smiling lightly, brother, you are too quick in claiming victory. I have nurtured Dong Lin as I valued his potential, and there were no ulterior motives behind my intentions. Really, if that is the case, then all is well. The first prince was in a good mood, though his heart was full of murderous intention. The first prince's third brother was more intelligent and capable than him. If the first prince had given his third brother a few more days, he might have found an opportunity to turn the tables against him. The third prince was too much of a threat. Once the first prince ascended to the throne, his first task would be to get rid of his brother. The third prince withdrew his fists into his sleeves and clenched them tightly. His heart was full of anxiety and his eyes were fixated on Dong Lin. You better not let me down. All my hopes rest on you, Dong Lin. The phrase echoed through the third prince's mind again and again as he watched the match with rapt attention, eyes practically glued to the fight. Russell, Russell. Two shadows leapt around the arena. One shadow was Du Yuntian of the three mythological moves. The other, a proud and strong martial artist, Dong Lin. Both Dong Lin and Du Yuntian were level 6, and extremely arrogant. They also represented the royal family, albeit different members, Dong Lin represented the interests of the third prince, and Du Yuntian the interests of the first prince. Their match was not only a test of strength between themselves but a contest between the two princes as well. The normal audience was ignorant of the true high-stakes nature of the match. The politicians in attendance, however, had broken into a cold sweat. This match would decide the future of the cabinet of the imperial court. If Dong Lin lost, the third prince would lose all power and would be doomed to die at the hands of the first prince. If Dong Lin won, the third prince would turn the tables to his advantage within a day's time. Du Yuntian carried a dragon spring sword. Even though the sword was sheathed, a thread of the sword's vital energy overflowed from his side. The sword was cool and swift, it was sharp in both its physical and spiritual nature. Dong Ling started to move in his blue robe. His eyes burned through the heavens with fighting spirit. His eyes were narrowed seriously in a manner he had never done before as he said in a low voice, Du Yuntian, our fight cannot be avoided. During the royal family's dragons meeting, Du Yuntian had declined all challenges. When Dong Lin and Du Yuntian were matched against one another during the holy meet, however, Du Yuntian had no choice but to fight. Du Yuntian's apathetic eyes looked at Dong Lin up and down as he sized him up. After a moment, he lightly shook his head, You are no match for me. You're overconfident, let me fix that for you. Similarly, Dong Lin was also extremely arrogant. How could he stand Du Yuntian's condescending eyes? Hibernation destroying finger. Dong Ling roared as he stretched out his index finger. It rose to the sky as if pulled by the sun, as the earth turned with his movement. Dong Lin's finger was covered in scarlet swirls, like flames. His finger had a frightening power as if it channeled the energy of a beast awoken from its long hibernation. The power of a stage 3 top class medium level cultivation technique was great. Du Yuntian's gaze remained apathetic. He took a step forward and swung his dragon spring sword. The attack cracked across the landscape, like a thunderbolt that swept across the sky. Du Yuntian's attack was extremely fast and frightening. 
The feeling of the attack imprinted a cold memory on the hearts of the audience, which they would forever, fearfully remember. Titter. Bang. Dong Lin groaned and retreated quickly. His eyes filled with astonishment. His attack, a medium-level cultivation technique at stage 3 top class, had been easily dissipated by a swing of Du Yuntian's sword. The terrifying part was that Du Yuntian had not even unsheathed his sword. Du Yuntian was calm and composed. He leisurely placed his sword back on his person. Your abilities were not too bad. You are still not worthy enough for me to draw my sword, though. He said coldly. Dong Lin was extremely shocked. You haven't won yet, he roared. Dong Lin's ten fingers were covered with energy. The energy was vital energy which Dong Lin's body emitted. Only strong martial artists of level 7 of the martial path and above could emit vital energy. A strong martial artist at level 6, however, could borrow the power of the extremely advanced level cultivation technique in order to just barely emit vital energy from his body. The power created by condensing one's vital energy into an attack was immeasurable. Red rays of light like the break of dawn covered his fingers, Dong Lin was covered in a mysterious and unpredictable atmosphere. Nine pulses incredible sword. Dong Lin roared. Swish. 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 Nine of his ten fingers fired beams of vital energy at Du Yuntian. The third prince was extremely excited. Nine Pulses Incredible Sword was Dong Lin's hidden cultivation technique. It was a top advanced level cultivation technique that the third prince had found for Dong Lin, and he had paid a huge price for it. The first prince frowned for the first time. Advanced level cultivation technique. He cried. His voice choked. The Divine Nine Dragon Cauldron. Chapter 54. In order for a person to comprehend advanced level cultivation technique, he needed to have high levels of skill. The Martial Arts Training Institute was a place where geniuses gathered. As such, there were a few demon students who had access to advanced level cultivation techniques, but, even as demon students with access to the required materials, it was very rare for any but a few to fully comprehend the books successfully. Dong Lin's successful comprehension of an advanced level cultivation technique implied very high levels of skill. Nine distinct vital energies headed towards Du Yuntian and, for the first time, Du Yuntian's apathetic eyes narrowed into a serious glare. A streaming cold sword. Du Yuntian finally drew his sword. Clang, clang. The light from his sword shone in all directions, it was dazzling and glimmering. His sword was like an icy cold firefly, it pierced the sky. Titter. Ah. His attack was extremely fast, it caused the nine distinct vital energies to dissipate. The remaining energy around Du Yuntian's sword following his first attack twisted like a thunderbolt and attacked Dong Lin's chest fiercely. Dong Lin gave a horrible shriek and a long wound appeared on his chest. His body was sent flying backward, and he fell off from the arena. Dong Lin had been defeated. Dong Lin was defeated after two moves by the legendary Du Yuntian of the three mythical moves. When Dong Lin fell off the arena, Third Prince's heart cracked. Unable to restrain his feelings any further, the Third Prince's face paled. His only opportunity to gain an advantage over the First Prince had been completely destroyed. He had no way out, there were only two paths he could now take. Resign himself to his fate and wait for the first prince to find an opportunity to kill him. Or, escape from the empire and live in exile, like a stray dog. In one moment, all the third prince's hopes for the future had been shattered. Lin Seo was terrified. His eyes turned slightly red and tears streamed down his cheeks. In his heart, he felt devastated. Even though the third prince was a good prince, why was his luck so terrible? Why had he ended up in his current state? Lin Seo knew what future the third prince faced, and it broke his heart. As he wiped away his tears, he knelt down in front of the third prince. Perhaps, that was the last time he would be able to pay respect to the third prince in his life. The horse-drawn carriage has been prepared. Master, please leave the imperial capital. The escape route had been prepared a year ago. Plans had been made in case Dong Lin failed. A group of selected soldiers would escort the third prince, they would carve a bloody path of escape for the third prince. 
As for Lin Seo, he would command the Third Prince's secret bodyguards and resist the pursuing troops. With their weak and tiny force, how would they compete with the Imperial capital? In truth, they could not compare to the force they would eventually face. One day, either tomorrow or long after, Lin Shao's body would collapse in a pool of blood. His corpse would be laid out on a field, and he would be erased from the world. But, even if he were to die here, he would hold the sword in his hands tightly and use every last bit of his life to try and fight for the third prince, for hope. The third prince had saved his parents who were critically ill and given Lin Seo the opportunity to achieve something noteworthy. The third prince had trusted him, as no one had before. Alive, Lin Seo would be the third prince's most obedient servant. Dead, he would be the third prince's shadow. To die for the third prince was something he would never regret. The third prince looked up to the heaven and smiled sadly. The situation is hopeless. Does my crippled life require all of your blood in order to open a path for me? Master, we cannot waste any more time. Please leave now. Lin Shao's eyes were red as he de urged the third prince on solemnly. The first prince witnessed the scene from a distance away and he laughed coldly within his heart. Did you really think I would let you escape from the city? In order to round up Su Yu, the imperial capital had been sealed off by the first prince. He had made the imperial capital easy to enter, but difficult to leave. There were a great number of selected soldiers keeping watch at the city's entrance. Anyone who wanted to leave the city would have to undergo a check by the soldiers. The third prince's plan to escape by opening up a bloody path was nonsensical. At the distinguished guest's platform, the fiery minister's stern face had a gratified smile. His mouth, formerly pursed with displeasure, finally opened up for the first time. Do Yuntian, not bad. The thirteen inspectors who were with the fiery minister knew in their hearts that it had already been decided that Du Yuntian would be the fiery minister's disciple, and they smiled obsequiously. The referee declared the victory of Du Yuntian. After the declaration, he took out another two numbers from the sealed black box. The next match. Number 9, Su Yu, versus number 17, Chong Manfei. After the announcement, the audience boiled with excitement. The Demon King, Chong Manfei. There were a lot of rumors regarding Chong Manfei, he was the most dazzling genius in the current holy meet. The audience was full of vigor. To be able to observe the match of a strong martial artist like him would be extremely beneficial to their training. What left the audience in deep thought was the Demon King's opponent, Su Yu. Su Yu was considered a favorite due to his luck at the Holy Meet. He had been assigned to the six-man group, where all his group members' abilities were common and weak, allowing him to fight into the top 15. Maybe Su Yu used up all his luck since now he has to face Chong Nanfei, the Demon King. Ha! Huh. Is there anyone who disagrees? What if his opponent was some random level 5 peak? Wouldn't it be lucky if he were able to fight his way into the top 10 and become a sanctuary disciple straight away? Of course, all that gossip was just fantasy. Even if Su Yu was lucky enough to fight his way into the top 10, he could still fail the assessment. If he failed, he would be declined entry into the sanctuary. There had been many in the past who had ridden their luck all the way to the sanctuary doors. However, luck failed them all and, in the end, none achieved entry into the sanctuary. When he heard Su Yu's name, the third prince's eyes, which stared into space, gradually returned to normal. He smiled sadly. Let's get Su Yu. We will leave together. Su Yu had suffered the same poor turn of fate as the third prince, and the prince considered him a close friend. Therefore, providing Su Yu with a chance to escape would be his final gift to the martial artist. Lin Seo became anxious. Their chances were better if they made their escape immediately. Things became more difficult with each passing moment. Su Yu, you have indirectly caused the death of the third prince. Lin Seo blamed Su Yu secretly in his heart. The first prince started to ponder, Chong Nanfei. His abilities are slightly stronger than Dong Lin. Su Yu, seems like you're not fated to get into the top 10, ha <laughs> ha. Once Su Yu was defeated, the whole empire would be waiting for him, ready to fall down upon his head. 
Chong Nanfei was 16 years old. He was charming, elegant, and refined. He wore a white shirt which glided along the air, and he smiled. When he was called, he went into the arena peacefully and naturally. After a moment, he attracted the screams of young ladies who fancied him. Those young ladies could be found everywhere. Su Yu's eyes shone brilliantly. With his toes, he leaped into the arena quickly with the grace of a floating cloud and the fluidity of duckweed on a stream. His purple shirt drifted along the wind in a flash. Su Yu had a brilliant face that was as handsome as a celestial being in a build that was refined, dazzling, and sparkling. He was full of confidence, and he was pure. Actually, not comparing their abilities, Su Yu is also very handsome, it's a pity that he is slightly weaker, an 18-year-old young lady moved her mouth. Ha ha, I also feel that Su Yu is more handsome than Chong Nanvai. Another extremely gorgeous young lady with beautiful eyes said. Having heard the whispers of those young ladies, Chia Jing Yu became worried. She couldn't help but smile. What is charming about Su Yu is not merely his looks alone. It is the charisma within him that is so charming. She said softly. Chong Nanfei was surprised. Even though he was extremely handsome, when compared to Su Yu he felt unworthy. His eyes held a thread of admiration for Su Yu. Brother Su, both of us are elegant people. I do not like to use my power to bully the weak. Therefore, if you can last beyond 20 moves of mine, I will admit defeat. How does that sound? Chong Nanfei was proud of himself. Even though he felt he was still stronger than Su Yu, he admired Su Yu's exceptional elegance, Su Yu reminded him of himself, and he did not want to use his power to bully someone he related to so strongly. Chong Nanfei's actions had left a good impression on Su Yu. He smiled and rejected Chong Nanfei's offer, however, Brother Chong, thank you for kindness. However, I want to do my best in this battle. Understood. Since you are a noble person, I will grant your wish. Chong Nanfei admired Su Yu even more. The fact that Su Yu wanted to fight on equal terms meant he was truly an honorable man. Brother Su, be careful. Chong Nanfei took a huge breath and reminded Su Yu of the impending danger. Chong Nanfei stretched out his index and middle fingers. The two fingers were side by side, pointed like a sword. Lotus Sword Finger. Whiz. His hand was covered by an extremely green light shaped like a summer lotus leaf. As the sword gesture fluttered in the air, a faint white light covered Chong Nanfei's fingertips. Moreover, the green light helped to make the sword finger look as if it were a white lotus, holy and pure. The green light and white lotus which circled around the sword hand created, for a moment, the illusion of endless blue waves filled with pure white lotuses, rather than sea foam. That is a medium-level cultivation technique of stage 3 upper class. How average? The fiery minister commented coldly. The word, average, caused Joshuan Prefecture's martial arts training institutes inspector to heave a sigh of relief. The fiery minister was famous for his strict nature, it was not easy to even elicit an average reaction from the minister. It looked like the Martial Arts Training Institute of Joshuan Prefecture had managed to avoid being punished. If the Martial Arts Training Institute's performance was poor, the corresponding inspector would be punished. The remaining 12 inspectors failed to hide their envy as they continued to watch the match. Su Yu faced the attack calmly. His eyes shone brilliantly, tempest. At that moment, a snowstorm formed and the cold wind whistled. The surrounding atmosphere instantly became 30% colder. The cold air filled the atmosphere with mist. Suddenly, it felt like winter. Su Yu's leg carried a vast amount of ice and frost. It was as if an ice dragon had been born, causing everything in the world freeze. Another medium-level cultivation technique of stage 3 upper class. He is only 14 years old. Yes, it's average. The fiery minister commented indifferently. Apart from Fang Yun, the 12 other inspectors were full of admiration. For him to be able to comprehend the cultivation technique to his current level, his level of comprehension might be above Chong Nanfei and Dong Lin. The royal family has indeed managed to nurture someone very talented. There were very few people who knew Su Yu's past.
After all, Su Yu did not make a name for himself across the continent, and only citizens from Xianyu Prefecture knew him. Fang Yun's forehead broke into a cold sweat. He did not know whether the fiery minister would reproach him if the fiery minister knew that he had expelled Su Yu. After all, the Martial Arts Training Institute was a subdivision of the sanctuary, which searched high and low for geniuses in the world. As for the royal family, to be nurtured by them was not as reputable as being nurtured by the Martial Arts Training Institute. If the Martial Arts Training Institutes were surpassed by the royal family in terms of finding and cultivating genius, then the sanctuary would be extremely embarrassed. In the arena, the two attacks collided. Chong Nanfei was trying very hard to ascertain his opponent's strength by repeatedly striking with his sword finger. Su Yu caused snow and ice to form, it was very interesting. Clang, bang, rub, rub, rub. As both of their attacks collided head on, the audience realized this would not be a short fight. The Demon King, Chong Nanfei's face was astonished. He retreated about three steps and swung his fingers that were covered with thick ice and frost. He was quite shocked. A medium level cultivation technique at stage 3 upper class. Su Yu retreated about four steps. It was the first time that Su Yu's attack was slightly inferior to his opponent's. It was quite rare, however, to see the Demon King astonished. He was at level 6 lower tier, which was two tiers higher than Su Yu. With such a great difference in their skill levels, how could Su Yu's attack be only slightly inferior to Chong Nanfi's? The balance of power despite the imbalance in skill levels was all due to Su Yu's physique. After being baptized in the Jade Fire Marrow, his physique was many times stronger than average. Under normal circumstances, Chong Nanfi's attack would have sent Su Yu flying, but Su Yu was not normal. Again, Su Yu's eyes were filled with excitement. He could feel pressure building closer and closer to breaking into top class. Indeed, actual combat was the best way to strengthen his abilities. Moreover, Chong Nanfei's abilities were about the same as his, making Chong Nanfei the most fitting whetstone for his skills. Chong Nanfei stopped belittling Su Yu and he became full of fighting spirit. Brother Su, be careful, I will not hold back anymore. Lotus Sword Finger As the sword finger was fluttered in the air, it was as if a lotus was blooming. The effect was beautiful and dazzling. Even though it was the same attack, its power was stronger by more than 30%. Su Yu was not agitated. Instead, he was delighted. Rub, rub, rub. That attack caused Su Yu to retreat about six steps. He almost fell off the arena. Su Yu's eyes, however, were wide with joy. He gave a light roar and mingled with Chong Nanfei, the demon king. Thump, thump. Clang, 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 bang, rub. Their silhouettes danced like the wind, their abilities, unmatched. Two beyond average artists displaying their raw power simultaneously. Beneath the stage, the audience was dumbstruck. Su Yu, he is actually fighting head to head with the current Holy Meets for great and proud martial artists. Doesn't this mean that he has the abilities to get into the top 10? At some point, without anyone realizing, the first prince had stood up, his face full of astonishment. His heart was filled with more fear than he'd ever felt. Su Yu's abilities had exceeded his expectations. If Su Yu continued the way he was, there was a possibility that he would get into the top 10. If he became a sanctuary disciple and came back after training in the sanctuary in order to take revenge for the Duke of Xianyu, then... For the first time, the first prince's heart filled with an unfamiliar emotion, remorse. The Divine Nine Dragon Cauldron. Chapter 55. If the first prince knew that Su Yu had frightening potential as well as a determined nature, he would not have touched the Duke of Xianyu at all. Since there was no changing the past, however, the first prince had no escape from Su Yu's wrath. The hatred between Su Yu and him was extremely deep, it was impossible to resolve. On that day, Su Yu had made an oath that, if he did not kill the first prince, he would forever be unmanned. Heaven, earth, sun, and moon bore witness to that oath. To date, that oath reverberated in the first prince's heart. He only had one plan. He had to prevent Su Yu from getting into top 10.
If he failed, the consequences would be disastrous. Do Yuntian, if you are to duel with Su Yu, don't hold back and don't let him survive. Who cares about offending the sanctuary? The first prince's heart was filled with murderous intent. Du Yuntian frowned and nodded his head slowly, understood. The day of our duel will be the day he dies. Even though killing another martial artist was strictly prohibited at the holy meet, Du Yuntian was the most outstanding genius. Moreover, the fiery minister was his future master. If he used an accident as an excuse for killing Su Yu, who would dare to investigate the matter? The third prince's gloomy eyes suddenly brightened with surprise. Lin Seo, what is the meaning of this? When Su Yu fought with Lin Seo, Tempest was not nearly as powerful. Lin Seo was dumbstruck. He also found it hard to believe. Could it be that Su Yu held back when he first used Tempest? The third prince's miserable heart suddenly felt a gleam of hope. What if Su Yu? The third prince pulled himself up and fixed his eyes upon Su Yu. In the arena, Chong Nanfei became more surprised as he fought. That match had been going for three hours. Even with his high level of stamina, Chong Nanfei gradually began to feel tired. Su Yu, however, skipped and jumped across the arena. He was more energetic than Chong Nanfei. Is this kid some kind of demon beast reincarnated? Why is his body so strange? Chong Nanfei was in low spirits. Suddenly, Su Yu froze. His body was covered by cold mist. Life wrapped around his heart and promptly shattered into a wave of rejuvenating exhilaration. Titter. Suddenly, Su Yu was awake and alert, free from the trance of comprehension. He opened his eyes, and the ground below his feet gave off a tittering sound as it was frozen by the cold air Su Yu's body emitted. Su Yu's body was covered in an aura more powerful than he had ever previously felt. Su Yu raised his eyes, looked at Chong Nanfei, and thanked him. Thank you, Brother Chong, for granting my wish. Chong Nanfei laughed as anger boiled in his heart. You used me as a whetstone. What a guy. If this is the case, then I will not hold back anymore. As the Demon King, it was impossible for Chong Nanfei to have only comprehended one medium-level cultivation technique of stage 3 upper class. He definitely had something else up his sleeve. Be careful, the next move will be the unique move which made me famous. Chong Nanfei had a solemn and quiet expression he was truly serious. Heavenly sword finger. Chong Nanfei roared. Both his fingers became a streamlined sword, long enough to pierce the clouds. The air cracked and whimpered, almost as if it could not stand the power of the sword. The fiery minister dipped his chin. That is an advanced level cultivation technique at stage 1 upper tier, which is stronger than Dong Lin's advanced level cultivation technique, which is at stage 1 lower tier. Among the 13 inspectors, the inspector of the martial arts training institute from Joshuan Prefecture felt completely at ease and full of pride. In order to be considered the demon king, there had to be something special about Chong Nanfei. Su Yu smiled. Instead of fear, he felt delighted. Tempest. His kick opened the door to a furious winter wasteland. Cold wind billowed out in all directions as snowflakes swallowed the world. A charming snowstorm wrapped around Su Yu, lowering visibility. The windstorm containing ice and snow became a snowstorm that befell the world. There was loud clamoring all around. Amidst the snowstorm, a faint noise like a wind's howl was heard, it caused the audience to tremble. Half the arena was completely covered by the snowstorm, freezing all of Earth's living things. The fiery minister was indifferent, he has managed to comprehend a medium-level cultivation technique to top class on the spot. His level of comprehension is still acceptable. The twelve inspectors were astonished. Only Fang Yun was drenched in cold sweat. He was also filled with remorse. He should have killed Su Yu back at the Martial Arts Training Institute. If the fiery minister found out about Su Yu's background, wouldn't he be in trouble? The first prince's face was pinched seriously. Du Yuntian, how certain are you that you can kill Su Yu? Du Yuntian's eyes were indifferent. I can kill him with one swing of my sword. In the arena, the fight carried on. Chong Nanfei's sword finger and Su Yu's fist, finally at top class level, collided. Rumble, bang, bang. 
Ah. Uh. Chong Manfei groaned. His body was covered with a shining white layer of ice and frost, and he retreated about ten steps. Su Yu remained inside the snowstorm, though he also retreated by about ten steps. This match was a tie. Su Yu actually tied with the Demon King. How is this possible? Su Yu was incomparable to me. How is it possible to for him to tie with Chong Manfei? Dong Lin covered the bloody wound on his chest, and his indifferent eyes filled with disbelief. Zheng Yilin's eyes became gloomy. He had not considered Su Yu a worthy opponent until the current moment. The third prince's eyes lit up again, brighter than when he was watching Dong Lin. To a certain degree, Su Yu was stronger Dong Lin. Chong Nanfi's expression turned grave. His advanced level cultivation technique had actually been negated by a medium level cultivation technique. The fiery minister was still indifferent, although Chong Nanfei managed to achieve an advanced level cultivation technique, it still lacked some comprehension. As for Su Yu's medium level cultivation technique, which achieved top class, it was comprehended deeply and combined with his extraordinary body, it makes sense that he was able to tie with Chong Nanfei. Chong Nanfei's weakness was revealed in this match. He was an overachiever with little restraint. Even though he had not achieved top class for his medium level cultivation technique, he had started to comprehend an advanced level cultivation technique. Though he managed to hone both techniques to the best of his abilities, he still only tied with Su Yu. I admit defeat. Chong Nanfei walked down the arena directly. Even though his realm and cultivation technique was superior to Su Yu's, they had tied. Though there was no obvious winner, Su Yu had only gained notoriety, while Chong Nanfei had surely lost some of his prestige. Thank you, Brother Chong, for granting my wish. Su Yu cupped his fists in gratitude. Chong Nanfei glared at him darkly, it's too early for you to be happy. During the Ten Great Contest, later on, I will regain my composure and duel with you again. With Chong Nanfei's abilities, it was not difficult for him to get into the top 10. Losing one match would not cause him to lose his right to the top 10. He still had the chance to fight his way into the top 10. Number 9. Su Yu wins. The referee declared with admiration. Su Yu's victory left no question regarding his right to a place in the top 10. Many assumed Su Yu was destined to be a sanctuary disciple as well, now. If Su Yu gave up on his revenge, even if he gave up and surrendered at the final 10 great ranking competition, he would still be one of the 10 great holy talents. That alone would earn him the right to enter the sanctuary, the holy land which hundreds of millions of martial artists wished to enter. As a result, he would definitely become an extremely strong martial artist one day. However, if Su Yu did not kill the first prince, he would never be a true man. Since the opportunity was currently within reach, he was impatient. He would attain the first position and kill the first prince. The victorious feeling in the first prince's heart had shattered a long time ago. Now, he felt concerned. Even if Su Yu gave up and refused to fight, even if he postponed his revenge, Su Yu would still be granted entry into the sanctuary. Once Su Yu entered the sanctuary to train, he would become extremely powerful. How would the first prince be able to defend himself against Su Yu then? Right now, in his current state, Su Yu was predictable enough, but, after training at the sanctuary, it would be impossibly hard to guard against any assassination attempts on behalf of Su Yu. If Su Yu entered the sanctuary, the first prince, monarch or not, would never live in peace again. No, he must have a duel with Du Yuntian. He must die before he gets the chance to enter the sanctuary. But how can I force Su Yu to duel with Du Yuntian? The first prince's eyes gradually narrowed, and a cold light flashed through his gaze. Doesn't he hate me? Then I shall let him hate me even more so that he will become even more desperate to attain the first position in order to have me killed. That way, he would definitely have to duel with Du Yuntian. An evil smile appeared on the first prince's face. He immediately gave an order and a reminder, his trusted subordinate immediately ran off to somewhere. After half a day, one of the third prince's trusted subordinates secretly gave Lin Seo a scrap of paper. After Lin Seo saw the paper, he was terrified, he hurriedly passed the paper to the third prince. 
After looking at the paper, the third prince's expression changed, his face filled with anger. He. How could he do this? On the paper, there was only one sentence. The Duke of Xianyu's execution shall be pushed forward to tonight. This information had been secretly passed to the third prince by a spy that the third prince had planted in heaven's prison. Lin Xiao was furious, the first prince must have felt threatened by Su Yu, so he made up his mind to push forward the Duke of Xianyu's execution so that he would no longer have to worry about any more trouble. At that moment, the duel to get into the top ten ended. The ten holy talents who won returned back to the battle preparation area while the audience's envious eyes stared at them. They had half an hour to rest, and then the final competition would be held. Su Yu returned to the third prince's side. He noticed a subtly sympathetic expression on the third prince's face. Lin Xiao hung his head low did not dare to look at Su Yu. Something bad had happened. Third prince. Did something happen? Su Yu asked softly. The third prince hesitated for a moment. Su Yu, I hope that after listening, you will remain calm and not be agitated. He said, finally. The Duke of Xianyu, he might be executed tonight. The third prince could not conceal the truth. The first prince had secretly arrested the Duke of Xianyu, who was critically ill, and took over the court administration. Even though the third prince wished to save the Duke of Xianyu, he was unable to do so. Normally, the imperial court would execute a criminal at noon. However, the Duke of Xianyu was going to be executed that night, which showed how quickly the first prince managed things. What? Su Yu felt as though he had suffered a huge blow. He immediately felt like the world was spinning, as if heaven and earth had inverted. The Duke of Xianyu is going to be executed. Ever since Su Yu found out the Duke of Xianyu was alive, his frozen heart had gradually warmed with hope. However, the Duke of Xianyu was going to be executed that night. The abrupt news dealt a huge blow to Su Yu's heart. According to the plan, Su Yu would attain the Holy Crown. This would allow him to kill the first prince just in time to achieve justice for the Duke of Xianyu. The sudden rescheduling had disrupted Su Yu's plans, though. Father-in-law, he is going to be executed tonight. The thought caused Su Yu's heart to quiver. Su Yu, pull yourself together, the first prince muttered. This caused Su Yu to remember something as he was quivered. Su Yu's pupils regained their energy and vitality as his body emitted an extraordinary coldness which sent a chill down people's bodies. First prince. Su Yu's eyes overflowed with murderous intent, all directed at the first prince. With an indifferent grin, the first prince remained calm and composed as he ignored Su Yu's murderous glare. Russell. A few shadows stood by the side of the first prince. They were the first prince's bodyguards, all at level 6, there were three of them. Du Yuntian went to the first prince's side and he cast a contemptuous glance at Su Yu, if you wish to die, I can grant that wish. As the first prince hid under the protection of the audience, he was carefree and content. Once in a while, he would sneer at Su Yu as if to say, what can you do to me? As the future monarch, the number of strong martial artists by his side was comparable to the number of clouds in the sky. Su Yu could only submit to him. Su Yu did his best to keep his mind from exploding. He tried to remain composed, suppressing the idea of mutual destruction. His senses managed to suppress his heart, which was full of hatred. If he made a move then, it would be equivalent to showing disrespect towards the holy meat. Even if the first prince and his people did not do anything, the people from the sanctuary would also kill Su Yu on the spot. Su Yu took a few deep breaths. His chest expanded and fell deeply. His heart was filled with immeasurable anger and murderous intent. He recalled that day, where, in order to save him and Xianna, the Duke of Xianyu sacrificed himself and was engulfed by the raging flames. Su Yu remembered the Duke of Xianyu's devastated cry before he was engulfed, the sound reverberated in Su Yu's heart. Su Yu's eyes were filled with grief and indignation. Su Yu would not allow a similarly tragic event to happen again. End of the chapter. The Divine Nine Dragon will be read in five chapters for every Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday and Sunday. Please leave this sound novel and press subscribe, follow, and the bell so you don't miss any new clips as well.
See you.